I get all my pieces cleaned up, ready to weld. some pads that I can bolt to the bottom of these solar panels and glue them and then later if I ever want to take the panels off it's just one nut on each corner and pull them right off of there ran out of food so I had to take a trip in a town Nice day today. It's gonna be 75, I think. Got some bread, got some hot dogs. You guys got me searching all the companies now because apparently Nathan's is a sold out company owned by China. I would not trust that at all. Nathan's no good. These check out okay. I like these, I've had these before. Al fresco. They got a few different flavors of chicken sausage. And for just uh, beef hot dogs, I found this Teton Waters Ranch, Teton, or however you say that. Uh, uncured beef hot dogs, no choice, you know, it sounds pretty healthy. Got my ranch. Got some, uh, got the bread, potato, one of my favorites, and trying out some Hardy 12 grain by Winco, Winco brand. Kobe Jack and some avocados. Uh, let's see, we got some uh, cauliflower. Changing up the veggie burrito ingredients today. Gotta throw some meat in them with that, uh, those chicken sausages. I was going to get sandwich meat, um, but I must have been distracted by the hot dog shopping. Okay. Bread, food, looking good. Get back to the ranch and finish my work. Cooling, or the cool down fan only kicked on twice on this trip. Seems the cooler weather is having a big effect on that. Which is awesome. This thing's been working great actually. It gets a little warm going up the steep hills, but no, the electric fans work perfect.
six inches out from the edge. And uh, one foot. And it makes marks so I know what spots to clean. Get this a little wipe down with some rubbing alcohol. So I'm gonna pick this up, flip it back, clean up, and glue it. up right on the seam that makes that easy loose so they can teeter-totter a little bit and level out on this rip that's not really level. Put a good quarter inch bead on here. Got those glued down. Gonna let that cure overnight so they set solid in their positions. I've unscrewed the nuts and uh, reposition slid these around so that the threads on the bolt aren't pinned up against the edge of the solar bracket so it doesn't get stuck. So those have been kind of centered. Gonna let those cure overnight, then I'll go around and seal these edges with some caulking. To get the cables inside, I've got another one of these double cable entry glands. And then to attach the cables on the side, or on the roof if I have to, though I think I'll just lay them down on the roof. On the side I will attach them, get them secured a little better with these adhesive, adhesive zip tie mounts. That's what those are called. There is not much reason for this being up here except that I wanted to just check it out when I was first installing it to see how it worked. I like it. I already have a separate display so that can go down below. Ugh, these plastic cable clamps you get at the it's like any hardware section at a grocery store are junk. It's just falling apart. It's, it's like not even really brittle. It's just mm -hmm. breaking. Same spot on each of these. Get the ones at the hardware store. They're a little more expensive and totally worth it. These are junk. I think these are uh, Gerber. Some kind of Gerber name or something. They're all, every one of them snapping on the back. Forgot how heavy this thing is, boy. It served me well. I like this thing. The EP Ever Tracer MPPT Solar Charge Controller. This is the 40 amp model. All right. Decided to do a little wall prep there. Fill in some holes. put a little bit lower so I can have some more slack on the wire going down below plugs back in the dust all right
let the stuff cure for a good 24 hours. I'm gonna finish caulking around the edges so moisture doesn't get underneath the steel and rust it out. I could have finished caulking while it was still fresh in the beginning, but I had already kind of set and placed everything so I didn't want to bump it out of place. So yeah, that stuff is, uh, that's pretty solid. All right, got all those edges caulked. I'll wait for that to cure another 24 hours and then I'll primer the tops. Okay, got those wired up in series. of steel plate right above the door uh, so I'm gonna drill just over here off to the side a little bit uh, I'm gonna mark a two spots one and a quarter inches apart which is the spacing on this entry gland so the cables can slide in smoothly Check the fit on that. Put it right about there. And then we need some tape. Okay, looks 
sealed all the way around. Silicone is cured. It's on there good and firm. Solar, solar panels are feeling pretty good too. Go ahead and run everything up. There's a bit of slack on these wires, so I'll zip tie everything. First, I'm gonna put this fuse back on. After I break it, This is out in the sun I'll usually put a, a strip of masking tape on this uh, to keep the sun from fading it um, let's double check to make sure he's getting power All right, got 43 volts, looking good. Okay, looks good to me. Oh, the little bird. Put some silicone on the cables coming through the wall, so that's all sealed up. No moisture can get inside that entry gland. Drilled a few holes on this window frame, just gonna zip tie it to that. It's convenient. I'm going to join these cables together. I'm just going to throw on some connectors, some MC4 connectors. This used to run from the charge controller. And so to join these, I'm just going to use some connectors. Sun is almost down, so there won't be uh, too much current going through this, but should be enough to check it. I need to find out which is positive and negative on the right connectors. Same 28 volts. The longer one is the positive one. That's the positive side. Usually indicated by the little plus symbol. Take that off. Make sure you don't lose that. It's a little easier if you take that apart. So get 
that back on there goes with the bigger connector so nut first then the uh, seal gasket now crimp side has the skinnier connector Okay, there we go. We'll do the same thing to these wires and run them down below. Okay, I went in and grabbed one of my old cabinet doors and took all the hardware off. I think that'll make a good backing for the charge controller here. Windy today. I'm gonna try and put it somewhere right here since the Monitor's cable is kind of short. Not long enough to put it anywhere else. So then you just do something like this. You find a way to keep that from falling forward. Or just check my hardware section here.
Okay, batteries are hooked up. We're at 13.1 volts, fully charged with the charger off. Let's hook up the solar. All right, just started charging or maintaining the batteries anyway, since I got a light on or two. That's 6.3, 3.4, got about five, seven, jumping up and down with these clouds out here. Got about five amps coming in. A bit more when the, when the clouds move out of the way. All right, all done, sweet. Everything sealed up. Secured, nothing gonna be flapping around. Things are fused. Finally got one of these breakers, 40 amp, since that's the max on that. I think it's looking pretty good. All right, 350 watts of solar. When I can afford it, I'll squeeze just a couple more on there. I can put a total of eight before that charge controller gets overloaded. Some beautiful clouds though. Boy, that roof does look good though, doesn't it? And before I get two panels, I got umpteen other things to fix. Many projects. They're a little more important than getting more solar right now at the moment. All right, you guys, on to the next project. Stay tuned.